Week 15 Super Contest picks our best bets of the week. Every week we pick five. That is the rules for the Vegas Super Contest. Uh, I believe it's out at South Point. Isn't that where it is? Or the Westgate. Well, one or the other. Anyway, we give out our Super Contest picks each week. I went 3-2 and two last week. I am now 41-29 and 29 on the season. Chris, I, I hate to tell you, brother, 2-5 last week. 29-34-2 and 34 and two so far this season for Mr. Giannini. I will start us off this week, and I'm going to take the Patriots plus the two. We already went over the game. But Bill Belichick with two points, like it, they should have been favored in this spot. The numbers say it. The fact that they are the hottest team in football right now says it. Uh, I I might be walking into a trap, but I'm going to walk right into that trap, just like you said, Chris. I am taking the Patriots. Uh, I don't think that they just cover the two. I think they win the ball game outright, and I think they win it handily. So give me the Pats. My first pick is going to be the Titans at the Steelers. I think the Titans are going to roll in this game. That's the game I feel the most confident about. I I can't see a world where they're going to go into Pittsburgh and lose. Home field advantage really hadn't meant a lot this year in the NFL, so that doesn't scare me or concern me. So I'm just looking at teams. The Steelers football team is not good. This Titans team is up and down. I expect them to win. I'm with you. I like it. Pick number two for me. I'm going to take the Houston Texans. Plus three at the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Texans are not a great football team by any stretch of the imagination, but the Jags aren't a great football team, and they've got all kinds of stuff going on inside of that football facility. I I don't know what is going to happen here, but I do know that that the Texans already whipped them earlier in the year, and I kind of think that they – I don't know that they'll whip them, but I think they can certainly win this game. And if you're giving me a three-point head start, I will take the Texans. This seems like the much more stable team – And I will take that over the mess that is Jacksonville right now. So Texans plus three. Well, we're the same on that. I like the Texans as well for the very same reasons. This Jackson, do you think, do you think the owner is just waiting for him to, are are we in a weird game of chicken where neither one of them want to be in this relationship, but both of them would walk away from a lot of money if they were the ones to pull the trigger. Uh, I had not thought of it in that in that respect, but possibly, yeah, yeah. It's it's like which one decides to pull the plug first? Yeah, uh, like Urban obviously doesn't want to be there. Like he wants out of this relationship. That's kind of what it seems. But like. yeah, but if he quits, he forgoes his contract. Shad and and the the powers that be in 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 Jacksonville obviously just realize this relationship's not working. We don't we don't like this, we regret this. But if we fire him, we owe him everything. Yes, and it's a lot of money. I mean, it was a fat contract. It yeah. was a very fat contract. So, yeah, uh yeah, I mean, I'll I'll take I'll take anybody against the Jags right now. The fact that they are a favorite in this game is it, it's not surprising because it's the Texans, but also the fact that they're favored over anybody right now is just a little, hmm, little weird, little weird. Uh, game three for me, or pick three for me. The Jets are going down to Miami, and Miami is on a heater right now, and the Jets most certainly are not. The line is 10 currently. I would have set the line at 12, so that's two points of value for me. I'll take the Dolphins to cover that. I think they are going to smoke the Jets, especially down there in December. You know, they uh, They are rolling. I think they've won five straight right now. So I'll, I'll take the Dolphins minus the 10. My next bet is going to be lane 10 as well. It is the 49ers. Lane 10 against the Falcons. This Falcons team is so disappointing. They are so bad. And I think the 49ers defense is going to give them a lot of problems. I think they're going to struggle to score points. And the 49ers offense, Jimmy G and the boys have just looked unbelievable. We saw last week when Kittle was healthy, Kittle takes Kelsey and all the other tight ends, and he puts them in a locker. And he says, yes. no, sir. No, sir. I'm the best tight end in football. You guys go stand the hell over there. Yeah. No, you're you're 100% right about that. When you look at these numbers on this game, Atlanta, at, somehow, I, I have not figured this out. They won last week against the Panthers. They, they beat me because I had the Panthers minus three. The Falcons are number 32 in total DVOA. Dead last in efficiency in the NFL. Number 30 on defense, number 29 on offense, and San Francisco is top 10 in every metric, like everything you can come up with. So, yeah, I don't uh, don't hate that one at all. 
Don't hate it at all. Pick number four for me, I'm going to take the Vikings minus three and a half at the Bears. The Bears have been bad. We just talked about this game. This is, you look at all the advanced numbers, everything else, Dalvin Cook playing, the Vikings should win this by a touchdown. Like, it, this is, it, I understand that the Bears have covered six out of uh, the last eight against them. I don't think it matters in this position because the Bears have not been this bad until now. Like, they they went youth movement. They got dudes out here and there. And that team just doesn't look like they want to play for their head coach. Like, it's it's very strange. So I'll uh, I'll take the Vikings minus three and a half. I've got that pick as well. That's that that'll be my fourth pick. Same thing, and then I'll give you my last one. I've got the Bengals plus one against the Broncos. That was my fifth one as well. So Bengals there plus one, explosive players. Uh, I think they will be able to score much easier on the Broncos than the Broncos will score on them. So to recap, I've got the Pats plus two, Texans plus three, Dolphins minus ten, Vikings minus three and a half, and the Bengals plus one. Chris has got the Titans minus one and a half, Texans plus three, 49ers minus 10, and the Vikings minus three and a half, and the Bengals plus one. All right. Let's see, Chris, is there anything else that you feel like we need to hit on? That's it, brother. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Everything you need to know about us can be found over there. If you've not already, make sure and subscribe. We are rocking and rolling with the subscribers on YouTube right now. We're at like 5,117 or something like that. So we're we're well above our goal of 5,000 for the football season. But, uh, but we would like to continue that. We now have new goals. And you hitting that subscribe button will help us out. Make sure and hit the like button for us. Jump into the chat. Jump into the comments. We want to know your picks on these games. Give us your opinion. Which, by the way... I don't know if you saw last week, but on the the clip that I cut, a lot of Cardinals fans that were talking a lot of trash before the before the Monday night game, and they all had to eat it. So yeah, so we do enjoy yeah. hearing you guys, and and sometimes you can sway our opinion one way or the other. Uh, obviously, we've already made our picks, but we want to hear yours as well. So jump into the comments and all that good stuff. Leave a nice five star review on the podcast, Chris is a big part of the college football coverage for Bookmaker Review. I host the BetUS College Football Show. Make sure and check out both of those. Uh, BetUS brings you the show every single time out. Go to BetUS.com. It's where the game begins. It's America's top online sports book. So go and check that out. There is a link in the description. With that said, you guys take care of yourself, take care of each other, and hopefully all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.